Hello everybody, Jerome right here, and once again you're joining me on my um, YouTube Jeronification channel. Okay, here on YouTube. And um, let me see if I can adjust this light here. Take that up like so. Like that there. There you go. Um, what we have here, uh, I've been requested by um, a YouTube member to decode the Voynich um, Manuscripts. This is the Voynich Manuscripts. And I accepted the challenge because this is one of our world, as I always do sometimes, and um, for my um, for my viewers. And this uh, manuscript, what I found to be impressed about with this uh, manuscript is that this is considered to be on our world's top ten list of world mysteries, unsolved mysteries that um, seem to baffle scholars and educators and um, experts globally um, when I'm drawn to something I draw my attention and I focus in on it um, through my paranormal experience and encounter which is genuine people um, when I focus in on it what happens is it gives me the insight on how and what these things actually mean I have actually looked at the text and and for and, 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 and almost convinced myself that I could read this text. And I looked at it and I started to, to read and, and, and to go in there and then I just I blanked myself away. But it was almost as if I believed in myself that if I studied this text long enough, I would actually know what it means. But anyway, what happened when what what threw me off of the text though is as I was staring at the image, I knew what this was. To everyone, this looks like vegetation. looks like a plant. To me, as soon as I looked at this, the first thing that came to my mind was embryos, microorganisms, and, um, but everything, I, and, 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 it, it just came to me that it was it was something far more beyond that. I looked at these as being like stem cells, and it makes for better sense if you think about it. Because think about this for one minute: what meant more to our ancestors than who they genetically were? I mean, look at this image. Who would put a plant? like this with little bulbs on the end and actually the bulbs are actually different let me see if I can lift that up a little bit they're actually let's see if I can get that up they're actually different and then have the plant come and look well not the plant the tree this this um this this stem come up further and then there let me add this for 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 um for instance you know that um that stem cells which I'm this is what I'm calling these stem cells and embryos you know they grow like trees and this is why this is, in my position, branching off in this direction. And it's showing you from stem cells, embryos, a tree of life, a new, a, 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 a new stem cell was created. And this is what this is all about. Now, I want to show you what lends to everything that I'm actually stating here. Here's another image. People, we know that there is no vegetation that man is, is de dealing with that, de that, that, that that is like this. Again, here, look. Look at this. Again, look, look at how if you want to call these leaves, because I'm not calling them leaves, how these actually look like microbic, um, 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 a micro life with the legs plugged into, stems off of original sources. These are cells. And this is what this is describing. This is not a plant. This is showing stem cells with everything that I'm describing new genes that were created and this person this person had the understanding 
of these creations. Now, I'm going to show you some more. I'm going to come back to all of this, but I'm going to show you another picture. In that same book, the Voynich Manuscripts, what lends to everything that I'm actually stating is how in the world can you have plants that have nude women hold on because I'm gonna I'm gonna go and describe in all of these two people as being described now it's always been my position that these images represent genetic bridging it's my position that is showing you through a process of chemistry a breakdown of genes new genes are being created and it's showing you how it's being done and that's what's being described here it's my position that these earlier images are similar to when we see images like these here readable images you see those women laying around the water you see that there's nothing mis um, medicinal about this here these this artist here captures and this is is this titanium I think this is titanium's titanium's it's showing you through the reproductive organ of the female how there's alterations here's a close-up on that and I made highlights on this actually I'm going to be doing a video on this here as well too but notice how in this image and the hair and the jeans there's an image of an ape I highlighted it there for you and there's other highlights as well too so notice the fish there go open the arm I made these highlights serpent I'm gonna make a video on this but it's my position that what this is stating right here and which I can read I'm going to make a video on that is being stated in the Voynich manuscripts it's the same exact thing women bridged over women to break down the originating genes from which we evolved and that's what everything is all about now let me show you something about these stem cells right quick. I'm going to make this video short. Let me go to here. It's my position that do you see this little guy down here, this little ball? And it's got little like stems coming out of it and bulbs on the end of it. It's my position that if you represent this, reference this to cells, that they are identical to the, moru the Marula embryo. This guy right here. This guy right here. The Marula embryo. Yeah. I'm making a video there, Joe. Yeah. The Marula embryo. How you doing, Joe? the Marulio embryo okay and it's my position that this guy down here is a cell and that cell can be identified to the Marula embryo those little stems that come off that bulb it's my position because it looks like a raspberry or like a um, yeah like a raspberry it looks identical to what a raspberry is and it's my position that that can be identified to that. I'm going to give you another picture of that. And let me go to let me go to this side here. Oh gosh, I'm going upside. I don't know if I can can get it over there. Here you go right here. Here it is again here. Almost like a soccer ball. <laughs> Look at that. It's the same identical object with those little bulbs coming off of it. So you you google the Voynich manuscripts and then you go to the medulla a medulla of oh, love this damn thing is called embryo
and that is him, the Marula embryo. And that is right here. Now, I've identified this, this stem cell, this down here. Now, what happens from that? You know what this is showing us? From this seed of life. From this seed of life. Right there. You see these, these little these little objects? From that seed of life. Down here. New roots of life. Branches were branched up. I did not identify these. And I did not identify these. However, you can find close associates. And when you look up cells, of human cells, um, let me see if I can let me give you an example of actually what I've actually came up with there. Before I keep on going. Um, I came up with different cells associated with the the human body that can be associated cells with the likenesses of these shapes of these objects right here now I'm going to pull up another image more so with the next image which I'm actually going to do which is right here here. These objects can be associated with the branching of the cells of the human body. And this is a, um, what is this called? This is a, uh, okay, this is a, a fibroid. Okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you experts and scientists, now that I point you in the direction of what that is, experts can now take and go in and identify these objects with the cells that they are associated with. And this is and this is and this is my position. Now I'm gonna take you here. And show you something else. Okay. Here's something else here. I've identified what this is right here you see this organ this is this is this is an anatomy of a female you see these women that looks like they're taking a they associate this with females taking a bath in a pool this is not the case I've identified what this organ is these are veins and cutaways and shows you the veins it shows you an intervention a change and what was going on. Now let me tell you what they are actually talking about. What I identified that with being. First of all, they are showing you that this is an infection right here. You know what this infection is? It's a tumor-like cyst. And you know what this is called? In the body today in science? A fibroid. Okay? It is a fibroid. And it is my position that that is what that is representing. Now, you want to know what these are? This is a represent, re representation of the ovary, right here. And this leaf-like object on top, there is only one area in the body that is associated with it in this organ that I've just scenario that I just told you. There is only one thing that is, it seems like an umbrella or a flower turned upside down. And you know what that is? 
here, the umbrella turned upside down. This is the cap, or the, 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 the upside down. This is the fallopian tube, a representation of the fallopian tube. So, what is being stated here? Well, it's my position that I've discovered that this artist knew through the introduction and the intervention of the female's anatomy, the reproduction system, that this cyst would form. And through that cyst, a change came. I'm going to show you this here. I found online the exact image, matching image to this. And it's going to just absolutely blow you away. You see this, 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 this fibroid right here, this tumor, with these females in it, so they call them bathing in it. Here it is right here. The exact image. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, because it's not wide enough, I'm going to go over. Here it is right here. It's a fiberboard. Now, oh, can I turn it this way? There you go, right there. The fallopian tube, and then there is the ovary. I'm going to slide this over. I hope I'm right about this. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? There. I'm going to bring it right here. There it is right there. It's my position that that split, like that there, this is showing you that of the female anatomy. And it's telling you, this. these writings over here are describing a fibroid. This image is identical to this image. Look at the umbrella type. It's my position that that's the fallopian and this is the the um, the ovaries. It's my position. You see those ruffles in there that make this look like a um, like a pine cone. If you come in close, look at the same pine coney image with the umbrella type on it. It's my position that this is what that is showing these cutaways are this these tubes showing you the identical same thing and if you go down here let me lift this up because there's an outlet on on this if you come up right here you'll see an opening there there's an opening there and there's an opening there Look at this tumor, or this fibroid, coming in, there's a Y, the, um, the fallopian tube, the ovary, if, if I'm right with that, I'm almost believing that I'm right with this, I'm hoping to, I'm, I'm almost 100% I'm almost sure, I'm not, a, I'm not a, um, a scientist, people, but I'm almost 100% sure that I'm right with this, and then look at the opening here at the bottom, so you have two lines coming in, and one main one going out and the same thing that you have exactly here two lines coming in branching into one and then one main line going out this is an organ people a cutaway view and this is why this is shown like this look how we would expect for a cutaway view to be of that and this is why these lines are look how these lines are alongside of here it's a cutaway view of a tumor a fibroid. These writings and these, these this this manuscript is describing a genetic intervention with that of the female anatomy. Look at the rest of my discoveries here, and this is why these women can be shown in these bizarre poses. What other reason would we have nude women dipped or immense in a green like water or a liquid 
facing each other, holding each other, showing you that they're bridged over each other, and then showing you lines coming in. Stages of genetic changing. It's my position that if you look at this for what it is, then the writings become simple, become decoded. When you look at this for being a fibroid, these as being this, the, the organs or the tendons or whatever you want to call them coming off of them, the veins or the arteries coming off that fibroid, and if you look at them in the sense that I'm telling you, it's my position that through the knowledge that science has of this scenario, they can understand what is actually being written and what's being said here. <clears throat> now, my name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel here on YouTube. This is another amazing video that I have. And because of a viewer that asked me and brought this to my attention, which is the Voynich Manuscripts, I was able to bring you another wonderful video. Now, if you want to understand this, it's my position that these manuscripts... Through all of my other videos that I have here and the decodings that I made, is my position that these manuscripts can be read and related to my other discoveries and through the imageries of what's being here in modern day science which associate us with this tumor, this cyst, it describes what is going on. Taking that and take everything in totality then this book can be translated on what was actually being said by the author of this book through the images, through my discoveries, and through my wonderful and amazing discovery through my paranormal experience and encounter that describes how artists encrypted their works with how mankind was genetically manipulated and in doing so, they furthered themselves away from, genetically, from their original ancestor, which was that of our ape and African ancestors, coming into our Asian and then our later Caucasian counterparts. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel, and you can also catch me on Alien UFOs. I appreciate that. And do me a favor. If you appreciate my video and what I am saying, I would like to hear your feedback on this. But it's my position that that fiberboard is identical to what is being shown here. There's no different. There's, and this is no coincidence, people, because how can I be here alleging that I can read ancient artworks and this is going on like my almost 200 plus video of showing you the same exact thing and giving you logical explanations. Here. Where that umbrella at? Oh, it's over here. Logical explanations for what is being shown in these images. And nobody, no expert, has never actually put this to. There's never been an analysis of this until just now on my Jeronification YouTube channel. Um, what else was there when I wanted to show you about that? Oh, this here is... Um, where is those trees at? I want to show you something else in those manuscripts. Do I have the picture there? Is it underneath here? Probably so. Yeah, here it is here. This here, where, did, where are they at? They're probably here. These here, also, in that manuscript, right here, you see those, those little objects, those little red, red like objects right there? It almost seemed to me, because I identified the other ones down at the bottom as the Morulia down here. Where are we at here? On the other image, the Marula. But it seems almost that here, here's an identification of a Marula here with the four bulbs in it, the red bulbs in it. Right there, you see those four bulbs? The marula, and it's called something else there. The trep, the 
the the tripotent morula. This is called the tripotent morula, a cell. And I be damned if this these objects here stem cells from this chemistry is seemingly identical to the tripotent uh, tri tripotent tripotent marula stem cells this is not a plant people look at this for what it is and appreciate my amazing discovery I appreciate you watching catch me in my next video and again I appreciate your comments if you like the video push a like okay and share it with someone I appreciate you, and let me know what you think about this and um an amazing more videos was followed from this thank you looked at it and I started to to read and, and and to go in there and then I just I blanked myself away but it was almost as if I believed in myself that if I studied this text long enough I would actually know what it means but anyway what happened when what, what threw me off of the text though is as I was staring at the image I knew what this was to everyone this looks like vegetation drawn to something I draw my attention and I focus in on it um, through my paranormal experience and encounter which is genuine people um, when I focus in on it what happens is it gives me the insight on how and what these things actually mean I've actually looked at the text and and for and, 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 and almost convinced myself that I could read this text. And I look Hello everybody, Jerome right here and once again you're joining me on my um YouTube Jeronification channel. Okay, here on YouTube. And um let me see if I can adjust this light here. Take that up like so like that there. There you go. Um, what we have here, uh, I've been requested by um, a YouTube member to decode the Voynich um, Manuscripts. This is the Voynich Manuscripts. And I accepted the challenge because this is one that looks like a plant. To me, as soon as I looked at this, the first thing that came to my mind was embryos, microorganisms, and um but everything I, and, and, and it it just came to me that it was it was something far more beyond that i looked at these as being like stem cells and of our world as i always do sometimes and um for my um for my viewers and this uh, manuscript what i found to be impressed about with this uh, manuscript is that this is considered to be on our world's top 10 list of world mysteries, unsolved mysteries that um, seem to baffle scholars and educators and um, experts globally. Um, when I'm